Hey guys, it's Riley. Today is actually my 22nd birthday, so I'd really appreciate it if you quickly watched this video. I actually made a similar video last year on my birthday when I was in Ghana. Maybe I'll make it a tradition. People always ask me why I do what I do. Why music? What keeps you going? That, that kind of thing. Basically, my saying is, if life is music, then clave is the gospel. I explained this a little bit last year. Let me offer you a different clave analogy. In clave-based music, we have two general states of playing that you can be in. You can either be en clave or you can be cruzado. Playing en clave means that you're playing your rhythms in such a way that align with how the very fabric of the music itself is designed. You could think about it as rhythmic harmony, or as playing in tune rhythmically. Consequently, playing cruzado means that your rhythms are fighting against the natural design and flow of the music. This you could think about as like rhythmic dissonance or playing out of tune rhythmically. Now, how does this relate to life? Well, like I said, if life is music, then clave is the gospel. In life, we have good and we have evil. Good basically is whatever aligns or harmonizes with God's nature, whether that's what he creates or the moral guidelines that he has established. Evil, consequently, is whatever goes against God's nature, whether that's a perversion of something he created or an utter defiance towards the moral guidelines that he has established. This is what we call sin. Someday we will all stand before the creator of the universe and he will judge if we lived our lives in clave or cruzado. Here's the thing though, we would all be deemed guilty. Every single one of us has broken God's law. God, however, had a plan for this. Roughly 2,000 years ago, God himself stooped to our level as Jesus the Christ, entering into humanity just as any of us do, as a baby. He lived a life of perfect harmony with God, the only life completely enclave. He was betrayed by his friends, falsely accused, corruptly tried, and was ultimately crucified on a wooden cross, the most excruciating and humiliating form of Roman execution. Christ himself bore the just punishment for my sin and your sin, so that we could be graciously forgiven for our rebellion and returned to a perfectly harmonious relationship with God, the relationship that we were designed for. Christ stood before God as if he was you and me, so that we could stand before God as if we were Christ. He didn't stay dead, though. On the third day, he rose from the grave, conquering sin and death, verifying his claims to be God, and securing us a living hope of eternal life beyond the grave. All who place their faith in Christ's finished work on the cross are guaranteed salvation. This is the gospel. When you learn about clave and you start to understand how to play en clave and not cruzado, there is a, a peace, a sort of comfort, a deeper understanding of the music that accompanies you whenever you play. Likewise, when you place your faith in Christ and his righteousness is made yours, there is a deep peace, a warm comfort, a profound understanding of life and the hope of your future home that accompany you wherever you go. So take this opportunity, come before God right now, just as you are. Place your faith in Christ and experience the unsurpassable joy of living in harmony with God, just like we were created to, living in clave. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.